All right, we're out in the garage today. Obviously, I'm Nick. We're gonna take a minute. We're gonna do a Q and A. Before we do that Q and A, I wanted to update you guys on the kayak parts and the 3D printing. I appreciate all the orders. The first 48 hours or so of releasing the seat risers, we sold 57 sets, which is awesome. The only thing that means is they weren't already printed and they need to print to catch up. If you sent your order in, I received it. It's in work, it's coming. If it hasn't shipped out yet, it'll ship out in the next two to three days. I appreciate all the orders. Now, we're gonna roll the intro. We're gonna talk about a QA. and a Well, if you read the title, which you did, the title of the fish is where, or title of the title is where are the fish? I received that question worded differently two to three times a day for the last week. Now, obviously a lot of people are off work because of the pandemic and all these things, tons and tons of free time and they wanna go fishing, which is awesome, right? But we have received that question so many times and I don't even mind answering it. I can't tell you where to go. Even if I told you the GPS coordinates, it would not help you catch fish. So I want to take a minute and I want to touch on it and give you my thoughts and opinions for everybody. There are fish everywhere. I've been saying that for years. The problem is everyone thinks they need to go fish a certain launch. They see a YouTube video and they go, well, this guy caught a fish or someone posted a video about an epic fishing spot when they caught two 18 inch redfish and 73, 14 inch trout and everyone wants to go fish that area. That, I would never fish that area. When I see people post about areas on Facebook or fishing forums or YouTube, I don't go back for six months. That's it. Anytime I see someone post a photo or talk about fishing Archie Glover, I write it off for six months. That is the reality. Anytime someone says something about Woodlawn or East Bay or any of those places, I don't go back, period. I try to hide from it because there are fish everywhere and you should be trying to fish a place that other people aren't fishing. Behind Broxton's was a great example for years. No one went there for years and now there'll be 10 kayaks there on Saturday morning and they'll all be fishing in a little 100 yard stretch on top of each other and it's not helping you catch fish. You know, I see it every day. The other day we ran our last fishing charter uh, because of the pandemic, right? Uh, gentleman for Colorado and his brother and at the boat ramp a gentleman named Dave was there now we've taken Dave on a charter Dave's ordered all kinds of stuff Dave's an awesome guy right I asked him hey Dave which direction are you going he's like hey I'm going this way like, all right man we'll go the other direction so we're not in each other's way uh got back to the ramp Dave had a slow morning caught a nice slot ready said uh but it was a slow morning and it was slow for us too but we were able to catch several quality fish uh, keeper trout, several keeper trout, three or four keeper trout for one of them, and then a 41 inch redfish and a 38 inch redfish. And we had a good morning, but we did work for those fish. But we went a different direction than we wanted to go. But we found success because we got away from the crowd. We had two boats that morning come in on us. And as soon as those boats came in on us, around us, it spooked everything. We had to wait, let everything settle down, and go back to fishing. So you should be trying to get away from the crowds because there are fish everywhere. You just need to fish a area that hasn't been hammered or pressured. So you don't need to go buy a new lure. You don't need to buy any of those lures. You don't need to get on our website. You don't need to go buy any lures. You already have enough lures to be successful. The fish aren't smart. And I've been saying that for years. So get away from the crowds, take your boat and drive across the sound, drive somewhere else, drive five miles from a boat ramp like think about it you can get five miles from a boat ramp but everybody wants to fish within a half a mile of it it makes no sense uh so i figured i would just be blunt about it. Now, i'm not being mean or disrespectful uh it's just quit thinking you need to fish where other people are fishing you just need to go fishing pull up to a random area make sure there's no boats there hide from some jet skis you can go everywhere. There are really fish everywhere. It's so hard to explain, but we fish different places every day because there are fish everywhere. Now, yeah, you need to pay attention to things like the wind, the tide, uh, you know, tide level, which direction is going, incoming, outgoing. Are the birds flying around? Is it overcast? Is it sunny? You need to pay attention to that stuff. It doesn't matter where you launch. It's how you fish the area you launch. That should be the question. Uh-oh. We had some music out there, something crazy. But the question is not where are the fish or where should I fish? It's how should you fish? You need to change your methods, approach the situation differently. And if you're not catching fish doing one thing, do something else. Don't keep doing the same thing. It's 
foolish. So keep that stuff in mind. There are fish everywhere. Josh and I fished like every launch possible this winter. We fished all these random locations in Yellow River, Blackwater, Scambia, all over the place, Freeport, all over the place. And we caught all kinds of fish fishing different launches because we understood how the fish behaved. Keep that stuff in mind. Watching these videos will make you learn things, but nothing is ever going to equate or equal the time on the water. You have to spend time on the water and learn from your experiences. The things that you see will make you a better fisherman, okay? And I could go on about the fisherman part for a long time. You can always tell who the fishermen are and who are the people who go fishing, right? And everyone can agree on that. Go fishing. Become the fisherman. Look at what you're doing. You will catch more fish and that's what matters at the end of the day i appreciate you guys ordering everything taking the time to watch i know the waterways have been busy but there are no secret launches anymore they've all been made public on youtube they've all been exploited just go fishing get away from people you'll catch more fish thanks for watching